hello guys welcome to my channel once again this is tech pba thanks for joining me so in this video i'm going to take you through how to set up the scan to network folder on your canon ir or image runner 2425i so in, in a previous video we looked at how to um, scan to email but in this case we are going to learn how to scan to a network folder so you can set it up on your scanner copier and then for it to send a scan document to a, a particular folder on your PC. So the first thing we're going to do is to create uh, a folder on the PC, on this particular PC I'm using, and then I'll call the folder scan to folder. Save that, and then the next thing I'll do is to right click on the folder and then select properties. So in the folders properties um, pop-up window, you want to select the sharing tab and then select the advanced sharing. Select the share the folder and then you can see the, the share name, which is the folder name. And then the next thing is to select the permissions, select everyone, and then we need to give it a read-write uh, permission. So select change and then select apply OK. Select apply OK also here and then you can see the network path that is the share path of the folder we just created so that is the shared path that we are going to use on the scanner settings or the copier settings to set the scan to network folder up on the scanner so once that is done we are also going to open um, control panel to make sure that um, the network on this pc is set up for the copier to connect to it so and uh, select the network and internet, select network and sharing center, select change advanced sharing settings, and then you want to make sure that um, the turn on sharing for anyone who wishes to connect to this PC, those settings are turned on in all those um, available areas. So for private network also you want to make sure that the turn on network discovery turn on file and printer sharing is also turned on for guests and public you want to also make sure that the network discovery and then file and printer sharing is also on save settings and then continue from there the next thing we are going to do is to um, make sure that this pc can communicate with the um, photocopier machine so open command prompt by typing cmd in the search box and then type in this um, type in ping space the ip address of the photocopier machine or the scanner or the copier space minus t and then we can when you have a reply like this it means your pc is able to communicate with the machine or the photocopier machine or the photocopier um, printer so another test is to open a browser and then type in the ip address of the photocopier machine in the address bar press enter once you see the username and password um, authentication page you 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 will know that your pc can definitely communicate with the printer or the copier so on the copier you want to log in as administrator um, type the password of the administrator and then press ok and then press on the um, login next thing is to tap on scan and send tap on address book tap register or edit tap register new destination and then tap on the file option on the left you want to select i always use like to select the address list so i'll select address list 2 and give it a name i'll call it scan to folder this is just a general name or a basic name for the whole process so scan to folder tap ok and then tap next so you're going to need to um, fill these boxes up the host name is the host name of the computer the scanner or the copier will be scanning documents onto so the host name in my case is the gm dash tech pba as you can see there the folder path is what we saw on the properties page or the sharing tab of the properties page of the folder we created on the pc so you can confirm on your pc and type it exactly as it is there in this box so in my case it's backslash backslash gm dash tech pba dash scan to folder which is the folder name tap ok and then in the username you want to tap or you want to type the username of a, a user account on your pc so in my case one of the user accounts on this pc is the admin 
so i type that and then the password you want to type the password of the that particular um, account so it's a basic password one two three abc i typed it tap ok and then you would need to confirm the password once more so confirm it tap ok and then the next thing you want to do is to tap search host so type the the host name of the pc tap ok and then tap st start searching the copier or the machine should be able to detect your pc in my case it detected it it should always be able to detect it tap on it and then you will see the shared folders on that particular pc so the folder we are looking at is the scan to folder tap on it to open it and then tap ok go ahead and then tap the check connection and then the connection to the server was successful should be the message you get tap ok tap ok again to save the whole settings tap home and then you want to um from from here test the scan to the network folder settings that we just uh, created or we just set up so i'll put a, a paper on the feeder and then close it up i will then tap the scan and send option on the screen printers control screen tap address book and then we are going to tap the address we just added to the scanner and then tap the green button to start scanning you can see that one page has been scanned tap start sending to send the scanned documents to the folder to the network folder we set up so tap on that and then you can view the job log and you can see that um, we have the one we just scanned on the very top view the details of that particular job uh, to make sure that that is what um, you scan on the details on it tap ok tap close and then verify on the pc that indeed the scanner has been able to send the scanned document to the network folder so on back on the pc let's go ahead and then open the folder scan to folder open it up and then you can see that the document indeed was sent to this particular folder on this pc and it, it gave it the name used the date the time of the day we scanned the documents as the the file name of that particular file the positioning of the whole thing could be or it leaves a lot to be desired but i'm sure it's j just about how you position the the paper on the feeder so that is that for this video so yes guys kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to support us to grow this community together and to bring you more of such videos click the like button if this was helpful share the video turn on notifications for all and then i'll see you guys in another video thank you bye